Hey guys, it's Sarah with ExtremeTerrain.com and today we have a review and install of the Lightbar DRL projector headlights with a matte black housing and clear lens fitting your 2012 through 2015 Toyota Tacomas. These are perfect for Tacoma owners who are looking to upgrade their aging headlights and wants a projector style option with a modern black design. These black headlights provide a style similar to the newest Tacoma and also include all factory connectors for a plug and play install. They are constructed from impact resistant clear lenses and matte black housings and are also DOT approved, meaning legal for on-road use. So as far as price goes, these come in at around $450 for the pair, putting them about middle of the road price wise when compared to other options. And for your money, you are getting a projector style headlight with a modern black design and accent LEDs. And as far as the install goes, I'm giving this one a two out of three wrenches on the difficulty meter. They do feature a direct bolt up and plug and play install that can be done in approximately one hour. So with that said, let's check out our install. For this install, you will need a trim panel removal tool, a pop clip removal tool, or a flathead screwdriver. You may want a stubby flathead for the wheel well area. You will also need a 10 millimeter socket and a ratchet or impact gun. All right, so the first step in our install, we're gonna remove several pop clips on each side of the grill to remove the grill itself. With a pop clip removal tool or a trim panel removal tool, go ahead and remove the pop clip. Remove the pop clip on the other side as well. At this point, you can remove two 10 millimeter bolts holding on the top of your grill. At this point, we can remove our grill, pull up on the plastic brackets on top, and then grab your grill and pull straight forward to release all the clips. All right, so at this point, we're gonna remove the trim piece beneath the headlight. In order to do this, we're gonna grab a trim panel removal tool. And if you're worried about scratching your paint, you can throw a bit of painter's tape on the end here. To release the tab, go on the top here. You're gonna look for a green pop clip. And if you press on the back of the pop clip, it will release the tab. To release the back of this trim piece, put your pop clip in the end and twist forward because the clip goes in this direction. At this point, you can remove the two 10 millimeter bolts holding on the top of your headlight. All right, so there is one more bolt that we do have to remove, which is a bit hard to get to. It's right about here on the bottom of your headlight, and the way we're going to access this is remove two bolts underneath the wheel well liner and one screw in the side of it. With a 10 millimeter socket, remove the two bolts underneath your bumper. At this point, we're also gonna remove a pop clip with a stubby flathead screwdriver. Twist it to remove. With that clip removed, peel back your wheel well liner. And now you should be able to access the bolt by going in through here to the back of the headlight. All right, now with the wheel well liner back, you can see this bolt. You might have a little trouble seeing it on camera here, but you can feel the one that you have to remove. We're gonna grab a 10 millimeter socket and a ratchet, and we're gonna go ahead and get it out. With all the bolts removed, we're now gonna release this tab here. You can do this by hand, or if you like, you can do it with a flathead screwdriver and you're just gonna pry forward. Release the two tabs at the top as well. Again, you can just lift up, or if you have a flathead, just pry it off. Now that the headlight is released and loose on your truck, we're gonna disconnect each of the connectors at this point. Go ahead and pull each of them off. There should be three. One main and then two marker lights. 
and then we're going a little bit farther forward up here. Now that everything is released and your headlight's disconnected, it's a matter of wiggling the headlight and maneuvering it in just the right way for it to come out. So there's one more step before we can install our new headlight. We need to transfer over one of the amber bulbs. What we're gonna do is grab the connector and twist it out of your factory headlight. Be careful not to touch the bulb as you're transferring it over. Line it up to your new headlight and twist it in place. All right, so as we install this headlight, we just stick on the ballast. What you're gonna do is remove the protection for the double-sided adhesive. And because this does get a little bit warm, we're gonna go to a metal part of the inside of your rad support. You can stick this wherever works for you, as long as it's away from anything that may be melted by it getting hot. Now we're gonna line up the headlight in a similar way that we removed the last one. Again, this may take a bit of finagling to get it to line up properly. We're gonna use the approach angle we used to remove the old headlight to line up our new one. Make sure the tabs up top are lined up and also the tab on the bottom. Pop it in place and pop the tops in place as well. We're gonna to start to plug in our connectors, beginning with the factory connector that we transferred over. Might be a little bit hard to see this far marker light, but plug this one in as well. And finally, we're plugging the main connector. This one will go to this connector on the new headlight. And because there is a little bit extra wiring, you may want to secure that with a zip tie to make sure it's out of the way of anything hot or sharp. Now we can reinstall the factory hardware. And with your 10 millimeter socket, tighten them down. Now we're gonna reinstall the factory bolt that goes in the side of your headlight. Grab your 10 millimeter socket and tighten it down. Now we can replace the wheel well liner, tuck it in behind your bumper, line up the pop clip, and push and twist it into place. Tuck in your wheel well liner underneath your bumper in the front as well. And this side clips in. Reinstall the factory hardware. And with your 10 millimeter socket, tighten it down. Now you can install your trim piece over top of this tab and press it into place. And then push it into place in this direction for the other tab. All right, now that we have the factory headlight uninstalled from our Tacoma, we can check it out side by side with our new headlight here. Now, as you can see, design-wise, they're very different from one another. Although this one features a clear lens similar to factory, it has that black housing to really give your truck an aftermarket look. In addition, it also features a projector style lens to give you a brighter and more focused beam of light when compared to the reflector of your factory. In addition, it also features an LED accent bar to really step up the style on your Tacoma. All right, now that that's said, we're gonna finish up our install by repeating all of those steps on your passenger side.
Once you've repeated all of those steps to install your passenger side headlight, we can install the grill. Line up the tabs with the openings on the bumper, as well as the two pins on each of your headlight. Go ahead and press it into place. Reinstall your factory hardware. And tighten it down. And reinstall your factory pop clips. All right, so that is gonna do it for the review and install of these headlights. And remember, for all things Tacoma, keep it at extremeterrain.com.